So God showed me this vision, not sitting down writing an article. This is not press conference. This is a vision I saw carry your youth along. I'm seeing a revolution. When I say revolution, I mean every revolution starts by protest. When it starts by protest, at that protest, the power can stop them. They have the ability to stop them. But when it becomes revolution, no one can stop revolution. Revolution means everyone is ready to go for it. I repeat again. I'm seeing what? A revolution. I'm seeing people taken to the streets. At the beginning of that protest, instead of revolution, I said protest is a parable. Yeah, because when it started, you think it's a protest. But at the end of the day, you realize that this is a revolution. You can stop protest, but you cannot stop revolution. No, every revolution starts by protest. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. It will come, people carry planka. Hey, 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 hey. You say, ah, this protest. You carry police, you carry everything, you stop them. But when it becomes revolution, everybody are ready to die. So you can't stop it. At the beginning of that protest, I call it beginning because at the beginning of every revolution, it looked like protest. It might be stopped at the beginning. Eventually, it will become so big that it cannot be stopped. This I see happen. Nigeria, pray. This morning, the, the police was already saying that Boko Haram, um, they're already planning on you know, joining the protest. What can I say to this as regards what TV should have said? Um, good morning. Thanks for having me on the wonderful platform once again. The privilege being here. Um, you know, when you know prophecy is what comes ahead. So it's a warning. They warned you, they've um, they've told you, they've warned you, you've um, gotten the sign that so so things will happen. Now, for it not to happen, you have to adhere to it. Am I right? Yeah. So, but our people, you know, we always and then our politicians, mm. they are always riding eye on us. I'm speaking in parables here. Mm. They are not feeling what you are feeling. So when parables, when, when, when a person is telling you, oh, give government chance, and you ask, you have to ask yourself, where is your, where is your own children? Like I always say, they tell you, oh, education is a scam. Education can be a scam in Nigeria because you are using the old curriculum. Something of 20 years ago, they are still teaching it in university now. That has expired. Mm. But there are only children that are abroad. Mm. I see with the updated curriculum, and they now come back again. Mm. Whether it be ministers, or be as of assembly, as of web, and everything. Mm. You understand? So they have planted their children mm. abroad. Yeah. They can date themselves, they can fly abroad from education and everything. Mm. So life to them is good. So they don't know what you are what, you, you understand? You don't, mm. they don't know what you are facing. Yeah. You cannot beat a child and ask that same child not to cry. Am I right? So you, are, you, are, you, have, you, have, you have put these people into perpetual, perpetual uh, penury, poverty. And you ask them, they must react now. Huh? There's a way you, you, you push a goat, you beat a goat. That goat, instead of using his, his, his horn, it's going to bite you. Because you have, you, you, have, you have pushed it to the world, it has nowhere to go. So that's, that is, so that is, so what, what if Joshua have said, this video should go viral, and those people they should not sit down and think about it. You understand? But it is hunger protest. Ah, if you want to come to one now, mm. yeah, in my book, they used to say that, mm. that, that if, if you move hunger from poverty, at least that level of poverty is, 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 is like 50% mm. of that hunger. It is that level of hunger mm. that is pushing people. You see, the, you, a, a, a full bread person, a full grown up person is begging on the streets. Mm. Now, when I say it's begging, such a person is working, but how much is the salary compared? To his expenses, we are not in a, in a country whereby your highest currency cannot buy you. It cannot buy you a liter of of fuel. Or what other cannot buy you as at as at today? What other cannot buy you one liter of fuel? That's the money. When are we going to stop all these things? You understand? The little children, the adults, the orphan, everybody is facing this same level of hunger. Mm. This same level of poverty, this same level of inflation. 
You understand? You have one thousand. See, let me tell you something. You are 2024. Now, let me tell you how how, how low Nigeria is. You are 2024 now. Mm. In 2014, 1,000 out of 2014 is same as 10,000 out of 2024. Yeah, that tells you how low Nigeria has got into. Because let me give you an example. Now, under Jonathan, in 2014, 7,500 will buy you a, will buy you a bag of rice. In 2024, now it's over 75,000 naira. So, 1,000 naira of 2014 is same thing as 10,000 of 2024. That's how, how valueless the money is. Oh, I ain't shame because I know she is. You know she is. Your currency is useless. It's as useless as, 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 as you can think it to be. So, it, it, it is not the devil. Ah, I don't see me. I don't live. It is the, your country that is against you. Because you have 100,000 naira, you think you have money. Go to market. It's, it, 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 it's almost finished. A family of two, husband uh, and wife and two children are spending close to 20,000 naira to, 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 to cook for the weekend. And how much is minimum wage? 70,000. 70, how many states are paying 70,000? 70, yeah, because because, because we we we've, not seen, we've not seen states. Say you are going to pay this amount of money. And they won't pay seven. How many of them say we'll pay yes, that? Sir. And that's seven thousand naira. Okay, let's say seven thousand naira is minimum wage. Mm -hmm. It can't even buy one bag of rice as that as that now. Mm -hmm. So if a, if a man that has family, mm -hmm. he has children, he has and his his minimum wage as collector like cannot buy a bag of rice, then then why is he working? Understand? Look at the cost of drugs now. Mm -hmm. People are thinking I go every day, I go, I go, I go. There's no money to buy the drug. That, no, 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 it's not about um when we say we look at this is we want to laugh, but again, but in my language they say that automatic that 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 if a matter uh, is beyond crying, you just have to laugh. You look at it that um if, if a man mistakenly falls sick, how is he going to cope? How is he going to treat himself? But then our leaders are always ear problem, UK, neck problem, Germany, back problem, Britain, they are always everywhere, flying their families around. But the poor masses, where do they, where are they going? What is happens to them? You know, they have to fast and pray. They have to do all these things. But, but, but do you notice they are scared now? Because even at Pablo now, uh, recently, and I think today, called for uh, a, a sitting, you know, with the Senate, I think on Wednesday, emergency, as regards this protest. Do you not think you want to know myself? Do you not think it's, it's in a panic mode? Um, I don't think so. I don't think that I'll see. I, like I always say, I don't, know the, I don't know how God created our leaders. I don't know the kind of heart that they have. Mm. They seem to have something like a stone heart. Mm. Like, they don't, like they don't listen to the people. They don't listen to the poor masses of the country. And the poor people are, are is, 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 almost in every nation. Mm. They are found that the rich people, as, as in the elite. And like I will love you to our father says, I will love that if the poor people don't have nothing to eat again, they are going to eat the rich people. Yes, an, an angry man it's an angry man when I gave example I said he said you want to you want to arrest the protesters mm. go and arrest three human beings they're not human beings they're just conditions of flood that's happening mm. arrest inflation arrest hunger and arrest poverty mm. those are the three those are the three factors that are leading the protest mm. you know what I'm saying because yeah. you are, because I, I, I as a man now 1,000 an hour cannot, cannot feed me in the morning that is how it is for, every, for most people 1,000 I cannot feed you so, so in a day you are supposed to be, you are supposed to eat close to like four thousand. Ah, that is, oh, I don't understand. And, and, and if you are a salary earner and you know, you know, how much salary in this part of this like forty to fifty thousand is the minimum. How are, is a human being, normal human being, going to cope with 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 the level of inflation in the country that one yam it, it becomes unbearable? One, yeah, one tuba, one tuba of yam, mm. you can, at least five thousand there. One cup of beans, at least, is four hundred. You even see the uh, abokis now; they cannot even sell, you know, the fried yam. They used to say they are just selling the potato because the cost of yam is too high. Yes, and I'm and I'm about to buy it. Mm. As as at like two years ago, you can buy cocoa of fifteen naira. Mm -hmm. Cocoa starts from two hundred. How I many how many of them can buy it? You ask this little boy that's selling this granite mm -hmm. as he's passing by. You ask him oh, how much was this granite yeah. as at two years ago if he's selling. He'll tell you. So that's inflation, and that is why people cannot even. Everyone is not saving money, saving. Uh, that's why I'm telling you, I'm, I'm advising Nigerians. Please don't get sick this time around. Find a way to stay healthy. Please, all Nigerians, don't try to get sick. We know that, it, but just try, just try our best to, to stay healthy. But if you get sick, uh, but, but but some are not sick, you know. I would say maybe due to the young guy, you know, the young guy is making people, you know, getting lean. That, yes, now. Getting, 
Yes, now that is okay, not feeding way. Let me tell you, eating good food is better than medicine. Mm. You understand? Eating good food is medicinal. Mm. But when they <laughs> okay, let, let me make some people my, my viewers laugh again. A man that is teaching balanced diet to students, and their sisters of food, balanced diet, protein, carbohydrate, vitamin, everything. His own children, in the morning, they drink gari. In the afternoon, they eat eba. In the night, they eat yam. Where is the uba? He that's teaching balanced diet cannot eat with balanced diet. So Nigeria has happened to him. I mean, Nigeria not happened to us. We saw a dog now. The dog, <laughs> very lean. See, I was telling you, I said, it is when the human being eats. The human being now remember, ah, ajawa. Now, human being himself have no eating. How can the dog eat? The dog was so lean and everything. That is that is where we find ourselves. And our leaders, they are seeing these things. Mm. You, you have, at least some of you as of web senators, they elected you. You are having feedback from your community. People are really people are dying of starvation. Mm. People are hungry. People are angry. People are oppressed. You are you are hearing. You are seeing. What are you doing to cushion the effect? Listen, listen, good. Give people this palliative will not solve anything. Palliative has, has never solved anything. Mm. Teach a man how to fish, not give him a fish. Yes, if the economy is good, we saw how the economy was at under Jonathan. So it's better. If the economy is good, then I can afford what I want to eat, what I want to buy. So, okay, if you give me gari now, two plates of gari, two plates of rice, after many weeks, it's going to finish. Am I, I, am I supposed to come to meet you to give you another one? That is the question. Yes, so, we have, so, so we have seen these things that um, the way the country is going, the way, the way our people are trying not not to not, not to govern properly are trying not to make sure that people are almost equal with them it it it, 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 it might not it, it might not end, end up well with them it might not end up well with them mm. but it is when there is peace and stability mm. you can see progress and development mm. but when 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 majority of the citizens are this they are this illusion mm. when you have the citizens they seem to, to to be getting tired of the system of the government you know kuba is you see complain father and mother children everybody complaining and and you're not seeing you are not seeing increases in social vices in society a little bit of 14 this is, 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 is into so-called mm. you understand and you see all these all these things because of even though i don't i will never justify crime in my life but you know that there are some factors mm. that are behind these things Understand? And government should, as a matter of urgency, nip this things to the board. You know what the people want. Now, like I always say, Nigerians are the easiest people to govern in the world. They are very easy to govern. Just give a Nigerian basic, basic things, basic amenities. Mm. You, are the one, you already have the Nigerian spirit. A Nigerian man can survive anywhere in the first place. Mm. I have a friend. Today she's in, she's in Baghdad. Mm. Baghdad is in, is in Iraq. Imagine a Nigerian person in Iraq. I will know that's the situation in Iraq. So in Nigeria are everywhere trying to survive. In Nigeria will go to Libya, go to this just to make ends meet. So that means if you are in this country and you give us the basic things, no more by first killing corruption. Mm -hmm. Just keep corruption. This 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 over bloated ministries, over bloated, just cut down the cost of governance. Keep corruption. I go to see. Only in Nigeria, we don't we, we are people that we can do most things by ourselves. Just need a level playing field. Just need, just we just, we just need some Basically. some kind of some some, some yes yeah, some, some kind of infrastructure development. If, is it a sin for Nigeria no, 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 to be to be having light? Mm. And 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 I heard one circumstance yesterday. He said that we should thank God mm. that there's twenty four that like there's twenty hours light. Is it bandai call it? And I'm laughing. How can you be thanking God for 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 what you are paying for? Are we not paying for electricity in Nigeria? Wow. So if I pay for it, then then why will you will you not be celebrating? I can't understand. If I want to buy food and I give you money, I sell food for me. Why will I be thanking you for giving me food? I'm paying for it. So if we are paying for electricity, we deserve to have to for hours electricity. So it's as simple as that. So let our leader let him sit down and listen again to this prophecy of prophecy with Joshua. May so rest in peace. Hmm. What he has said, a prophecy is hmm. a warning hmm. that may, the only thing I can avert it is the truth. The thing that I have the prophecy, it's not evil prophecy, it's obedience to what the prophet have said. So the politicians, they should obey. They should listen and, uh, and listen well and obey what he has said. But, 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 but it's not the, evil to, mm. to, 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 to themselves and sit down with them and dialogue with them. 
what is the way forward for Nigeria and hear their own yeah. opinion. He said, he said, he said the, 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 the government should draw, you know, the youth closer to them. But, but do you, do you foresee a revolution with this? Because um, they the government have they try every they are, um they tried their possible best, you know, to curb this um situation. But I don't think it's working. I don't think it's. I, I think Nigerians they you know, they decided that the protest must go on. But do you think this can lead to a revolution? Um, I don't think so. I don't. Um, I don't. Is it escalating to that? To I, don't, that I, don't, I don't think so. Because um, it's a peaceful protest that people are calling for, and um, I want to see our security agencies protecting and um, and safeguarding the the protests, the protesters, and the venues of the protest. Protest is just to show your grievances against um, policies and and activities of government. So. I don't see any any revolution, and um, you know what we want to see is government listening to the to the protesters, but finally and finding out. a way to make sure that what they are what, what they are protesting against is being rectified. I don't see any I don't I don't see any revolution coming. Okay, but but finally, what um, uh, Petabe have finally come out to you know to you know um, react as regards the protests. So yes. you, you urge you know. Nigerians, that is their, you know, civil right to come out and protest. Yes. Do you not think if this thing escalates, do you not think they will let her, you know, just, just like what Bayo Onuga said, do you not think um, Peter Obi will not be one of the people, culpable for, you know, um, the protest? No, 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 no. So I said the right thing now. He said that, um, that it is right of, of Nigerians to protest, like I've always said, and, and, the, and, and they should make sure that the protesters, they are guided, they are, they are, and, 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 and even all the protesters too, to be peaceful. In their protest so what so, so so what else so he's on the right path he has spoken like a leader should speak go out and protest and make sure that you are not you are not burning anything you are not um, causing chaos you are protesting peacefully then the, the security agencies should also be on guard make sure that these people are they are well guarded and 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 and, and they are protected